the second point I wrote down says, activate your desired possibility of creation by bringing anything that you desire into the here and now feeling. So now that we've covered the idea that all that you desire is already accomplished, and you can imagine this as this infinite field that's connected to your heart, to the center of your being, inside your body even if you will, or your mind, whatever you want to visualize it as. But you can imagine that all of creation expands outward from the center of your beingness. You are the center of creation, the center, the middle point, from which you are connected to this infinite field of infinite endless possibility of everything is already accomplished. This. And so then what's next? In order to make that more relevant to your personal individual desired experience, you simply activate any one possibility out of the field of infinite possibility, you activate the desired possibility, so you make that more probable, you make that more likely to appear into your experience by simply bringing anything that you desire into the here. So welcome back, hopefully it's working. Um, as I was saying, quite automatically from a limited point of view, whenever a desire comes up or is in a sense downloaded to our brain level consciousness, to our personal consciousness, to what we are able to recognize, based on our previous conditioning of physicality, of limitation, of over here versus there, of space, time, causality, we tend to automatically project our desires into a state of lack. We tend to, f we tend to include the lack thereof. So a higher self, in a sense, is just transmitting to us a pure desire for creating something, for shifting into a particular reality. And what we automatically do, our automatic uh, filtration system is infusing that with its opposite, with its lack-based um, creation. So basically, higher self, for example, is saying, wow, it would be really exciting, it would be really expensive if you move to Bali, for example. And then the, um, the personality self automatically filters that excitement through the lack of being in Bali, the lack of having the resources to get there, the lack of having everything set and organized where you live now in order to move there. So then suddenly the majority of our focus, of our vibrational focus becomes the lack of the things that we desire. That's why it's very important to feel into your desires as if their manifest accomplished results are here and now. You have to feel what you desire here and now and remove as much as you can the idea that it is not here and not now. When you do this, it's going to be one of the most powerful um, manifestations or accelerations of your ability to naturally be in the flow of abundant manifestation. Simply the shift from it's not here to it is here, regardless of what physical reality wants to tell me. I'm saying that it, that it is here. I'm feeling as if it is here. I'm feeling it inside of my being, inside of my body even. I'm feeling it here and I'm feeling it now. And just to stay with that feeling as you tune into your desired reality, without getting even too specific about the details all the time, although that can be lovely too, but what I'm saying is that even just to love the energy of desire without thinking too much about the result already amplifies you. Desire itself, if you don't filter it through lack, if you don't make it too specific in a lack fashion, based in physical reality, oh, it's not here right now, but simply tune into the desire energy itself, then that itself can already increase your vibration so much because desire itself is love. It's higher self making love to you. It's communicating with you. So to be in the state of desire without even necessarily knowing whether or not something has been made physically manifest is already a great step in the direction of alignment. So that was number two, activate your desired possibility of creation by bringing anything you desire into the here and now feeling. Are we good?